What's going on gamers? It's Roll Easy here, back again with a third video, and wouldn't you know, we got another solo money glitch, alright? And if you guys thought that that single player to multiplayer glitch was hard, you're gonna love this one because this one is as easy as they come when it comes to card duplication glitches. Alright, so uh, yeah, thanks to uh, the guy that posted it was Dariog1988. It's kind of like a play on Apocalypse glitch, but uh, but yeah, this guy posted it, so shout out to you, Dariog, uh, for posting this today. And uh, here are the requirements. So we're going to need a solo public lobby. You want to be the only one in there. Uh, for PS4, you guys can set your MTU settings to 750, and that's how you get your own session, nice and easy for you guys. Uh, for Xbox, a little bit more tricky. You can uh, you can play with your connection and kind of you know screw it up if you want you know unplug a uh, an Ethernet cord and plug it back in. Uh, I've done that. That's actually what I did for this one. I sat in the lobby for like 10 minutes and then plugged an Ethernet cord in there and everybody left. Uh, you know the Ethernet cord obviously hooked up to the uh, modem while I was on Wi-Fi. Um, yeah. So, but the other way that's a lot easier without screwing your, with your connection is uh, you got to put a race into a playlist and uh, complete the race restart the playlist and when your guy starts spawning down uh, on the ground in, a, in you know the solo public lobby you invite a friend to the race and uh, once you get into the race lobby once he enters he just goes ahead and backs out once he backs out that's it he's in a solo public lobby so he can either stay in there and do the glitch there or invite you and uh, and then you can take that session from him and uh, then he would leave but you got to be the only one in the solo public session all right that's the way that this glitch works so uh, yeah, you also need an MOC with the personal vehicle storage. I recommend putting an RH8 inside of it. And uh, then you want any Benny's car that you want to duplicate in one of your garages. Once again, I always recommend Benny's cars, nothing else. Everything else is a waste of your time. And also, I recommend a full garage with RH8 so that you can swap uh, with your dupe and then rinse and repeat much, much quicker. Because I'm telling you, you'll see in this video, I duplicate three cars and I do it very, very quickly with this method. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So right here, I have my RH8, and I'm gonna go ahead and drive it out of the MOC. And what we're gonna need to do is, you need to park the MOC up on like a hill or something like that so it doesn't get the animation, that's really important. So I'm gonna show you right here how I don't get the animation. Check this out, I press right D-pad, and look, you see it just spawns me in there. So I'm right in front of Arcadius, uh, but you can park it up on any hill just to make sure you don't get the animation. So now I'm gonna press Y or triangle to get in, and then right away hold the gas. Hold that gas until you go outside. And even, even after being outside, hold it for another few seconds. Just drive the car. You see I'm still going full speed. I'm still holding gas. Now I went ahead and, you know, hit the brakes. But, uh, yeah, that's what you want to do to get glitched down. Now check this out. I hop out of the car. Well, not just yet. I'm driving over to where my, uh, my retro dupe is. Or my retro that I want to dupe is, my LG Retro. I hop out of the car and look, the RH8 disappears. That's what you want to see, all right? You get that glitched out by holding the right trigger as you're getting in the car and you hold it until you go outside and you keep holding it for another few seconds while driving around. And uh, yeah, so once you get out of the car, it should disappear just like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my, uh, my LG Retro Custom that we're gonna be duping. And I have a custom plate on here just to show you guys that we're gonna get a new plate. That's the virus plate. So yeah, you don't need custom plates for this. You do get the plate from the RH8. So that's another big plus, it's solo and no custom plates, which is exactly what many of you need. Uh, and it's the safest way to do cars, honestly. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my LG Retro right here and I'm gonna go up to my MOC without getting the animation, which is good. So now hit right D-pad and spam A, all right? Just spam the hell out of A. So right D-pad and then spam X if you're on PlayStation. And keep spamming it until you spawn outside with a Retro. And this car that you spawn outside with right here is actually the dupe. Check out the license plate. That is the same license plate that was on our RH8. That's one dupe done, just like that. Now you gotta make sure you save it. So you guys know me, of course. I'm gonna pull it in tw uh, once right here. That's gonna be the, uh, the first save. And then I'm also going to go ahead and pull it back out and then put the retro back in there to save it twice. That's just what I do, guys. I always recommend saving it twice. You never wanna, you know, take, go ahead, take 15 seconds out of your day, man, to make sure that that dupe is saved and ready to go. That is what I do every single time. It doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take much time at all. And, uh, and yeah, you can be assured that that's $1 million right there put away. Might not be in the bank, you know, just yet, but that's a $1 million basically right there ready to go for you. 
All right, so once I'm sure that it's saved, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it. And like I said, this is one dupe done, fully saved. I know it's saved, and no matter what I do to it, that's it. So just tap right trigger to leave. Remember, you get glitched out by holding right trigger, or R1 or R2, whatever it is on PlayStation to hit the gas. But uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drive it into this garage, and I know that my CEO garage right here, I have a bunch of RH8s and it's full. So this is why I recommended a full garage with RH8s. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it into Office Garage 3 and I'm gonna find one of my RH8s that I have in here stored. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna transfer, um, you know, the retro into here and the RH8 back over there. So I'm gonna pick one of these RH8s, check that out. So the retro's here, RH8 is already in the MOC. And just like that, we're ready to dupe. So I'm gonna hit exit to ground and we're gonna go ahead and head over there to the MOC. Guys, that's why I recommended a full garage. Look how quick this is gonna be, okay? So I already know that I don't get the animation. I don't need to test that shit anymore. So once I know that I don't get the animation, I can go ahead and do the glitch. My MOC is in the same place, it hasn't moved. I know that it's gonna work. So now once I get into the MOC, I'm gonna right away just go ahead and hop into the RH8 once this finishes loading. Because sometimes it does take a little longer to load without the animation. But yeah, so hop in the RH8, start holding right trigger now. Uh, start holding the gas, just keep holding it. Hold it the entire time. And now once we spawn outside, you want to keep holding it for a few more seconds. Just drive, you know, just hold it and just drive for a little bit, all right? I'd say probably another two to four seconds, just keep driving with it like that. And so at this point, right there, we've already glitched out this car. Now, whenever we hop out of it, it will, you know, just completely disappear. So I'm gonna hop out right here, check it out. See, it went invisible, just like that. Uh, that's all you gotta do to get glitched out with the car, man. It's it's crazy. So just like the other glitch that Apocalypse did when you're in a solo public session, it does work just as well for some reason. Uh, not sure why these glitches are working in public sessions for the most part, but yeah, these, these recent MOC glitches really work in public sessions more than anything. Uh, yeah, so now we're gonna go ahead and you see, uh, if for any of you wondering where the other, you know, uh, retro went, my original, there it is right there. You see with the virus plate? It just gets put right back to where it came from. That's why, that's why we end up with a dupe outside. The original just goes right back wherever it was parked originally. So this is the same original car that we duped, you know, just a few minutes ago. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this RH8 and same thing, pull it up to the MOC. We're not gonna get the animation once again. And we're just gonna simply hit right D-pad and then start spamming A or X on PS4. So right D-pad, start spamming. Just keep spamming. Right now I'm still pressing A. I'm non-stop pressing it until I end up outside with my dupe. All right, so keep spamming A, keep spamming X, and now we can stop. Look at the plate. That is a brand new plate from the RHA that we just got, all right? And if you guys don't believe me, look look back at the video. Look at the plate from the RHA that we were using, all right? It is the same exact one from the RHA. So if you want to put it into perspective, that's why I said also fill up a, a garage with RH8s because you're going to be duping over them basically. It's a merge glitch, so we're merging the plate from the RH8 over onto the Retro Custom or whatever Benny's vehicle that you want to do. So remember right here I'm just pulling it in, uh, I'm pulling it out and in twice into the MOC just to make sure that it does save. Alright, that's just what I do and for peace of mind. Alright, that's it. Just peace of mind. I don't want to do, you know, I like to do shit twice. So uh, at this point, We've already duped two cars, and I think each car takes about three to four minutes, you know? And I'm going a little bit slower for the video just so you guys can really, you know, pay attention. But this glitch is as easy as they come, man. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the... Uh, we're going to dupe one more car in this video just to show you guys how quick this really is. Uh, solo public session. I'm still by myself in this public session. Uh, I just screwed around with my internet connection with, a, you know, going from wireless. And uh, I plugged in an ethernet cord, and uh, you know, the ethernet cord was also hooked up to the modem uh, across the hall. And uh, yeah, I unplugged it, plugged it back in, just kept screwing around with it, kept jumping into a few sessions, and the third session I jumped into was a public lobby by myself. So, I don't always recommend screwing around with your internet. Uh, I don't mind, my internet's okay, so, uh, you know, and I know kind of how to fix it, so I don't mind, you know, screwing it around a little bit. But uh, yeah, I do recommend doing the method that I told you on Xbox or if you're on PlayStation, using the MTU settings and setting it to 750. That's the best thing you can do. So uh, I transferred my RH8 into the MOC and the retro dupe went into my office garage right over there. And uh, yeah, so let's hit this glitch one more time so you guys can see just how quick and easy it is. Hit the wire triangle, hold the gas right now. So I'm holding RT. You guys on PlayStation, hold the gas and keep holding it until 
we go outside and drive for a few seconds. So I'm still holding it, still holding it, and now I finally brake. So uh, yeah, I, I hold it for anywhere from two to four seconds. That's pretty much it, all right? It doesn't have to be super exact, but that's it, you know? And uh, now I'm driving over to where my, uh, my retro is that we're gonna be duping. Get out of the car, it goes invisible. If it goes invisible, you know you're doing it right. And just make sure you, that you're in a solo public lobby and you're not getting the animation for the MOC and you will be set, okay? It is that freaking easy, guys. Uh, now I'm going ahead and I'm hopping into the retro over here that we're gonna dupe. It's the same one, the original. I've been duping the same exact retro every time. Here is the one with the virus plate. Check out the plate, you see that? Virus, can't get any easier than this, guys. Go ahead and drive it out. Uh, remember, when you're driving any other car out of the MOC, just tap right trigger. When you're driving out that RH8 to get it glitched out, that's the only one you're actually holding the gas on. That's what gets it glitched out for some weird reason in a public lobby, man. Um, yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and press right D-pad and start spamming A. So right D-pad, spam A, keep spamming until you go outside. And remember, spam X if you're on PlayStation. Just keep accepting, accepting. You're going to get that double tap noise also because you're on like an incline. And uh, yeah, so just like that, check it out, another brand new plate. So there's three dupes done, basically in 10 minutes. Just three quick, easy dupes, just like that. So hit right D-pad to go in there once, and, uh, and then we're going to drive out and drive back in one more time, and that's going to fully save it. But yeah, guys, that's the new uh, solo duplication glitch. Very simple. I didn't have one failed attempt, as long as you make sure you're in a solo public lobby. Make sure it's not on a... Well, I had one failed attempt just because... I didn't realize that the uh, the MOC, I was actually still getting the animation even though it was on an incline. So make sure you practice with the RH8 beforehand to make sure that you're not going to be getting the animation. That is crucial to being being able to hit this glitch. Okay, so um, yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. My name is Roll Easy, and make sure to like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting the big red button and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Enjoy this glitch.